Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, Croatia has released their songs for Dora 2024 and I am hyped because I've heard all of them and I have thoughts to share and that's why I'm recording this video ahead of Albania. I know I still have to cover Albania, I'm so sorry. I recorded that but I didn't have time to upload but it will come very very soon, I promise. But first I have to cover our songs because we, we have some heavy hitters this time and um, <clears throat> the response that I'm getting from all of you around Europe is pretty positive. At first I wasn't sure but now I see that you really like our songs and I'm happy to go through all of them and I will share my first impressions of songs and what I expect from artists uh, you know, live on stage because some of them are new to me, some of them I know really well so I can kind of tell you what they might do. So uh, we'll go through this recap I believe twice. Uh, first I'm gonna talk about the song and then second time I'm gonna tell you what I s expect from them on stage and how I believe they will like what results they will achieve on Dora. Of course that's impossible to predict but I will try to tell you at least uh, what we can expect. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Thanks Missy Averovizia. I don't know how you do it like this, I don't know how you do it, but thank you. Uh, you see, this one, verses are competent, but this chorus, this hook just doesn't work for me, I don't think it leaves an impact, and even though it is catchy, it's just there. Uh, <clears throat> this is a heavy hitter I was talking about. Baby Lasagna, you said you never performed live. Well, you will perform now, and maybe on Eurovision stage, because this is great. Barbara. I like her experimental vibes, and like her expression, the way she sings. I like it. It's a bit out of the box, and I appreciate that. Okay, Boris, better than last year, or two years ago, I'm not sure, but much better. I like the vibe, I like the, the dark mood, but it's still not as competitive as some other songs, unfortunately. Damire carries this with his vocal. The song itself is nothing special, but the way he kinda delivers it live, it's gonna be brilliant. Mm, this one is interesting, not for Eurovision. But I find it intriguing and kind of sexy in a way, I would listen to that. Balkan parties 2015, my high school, go off, let's go crazy. <laughs> yeah, very subjective, but I'm all over that, so yes. E.T. Banger. Eugen, another great ballad. Uh, oh. Very, very competent in one of my favorites, in top five for sure. James. I would say this is pretty typical Euro banger. And with good live performance, it could do something. Lana. The, the chorus loses me. I still see potential in it, but it's not for me. It's a bit repetitive. Lara. Hmm. This was interesting, I liked it. But again, now I have to remember it, which means it wasn't memorable enough. Yes, this is a lot. Um, no, first song was better. Mama's show was better. Sorry. I'm into this. It's atmospheric, meditative, it's kinda epic, but I hope it will be epic live. Marcella!
I know, I'm 100% sure that she will elevate this live because she is very competent live performer, so I'm curious about her staging because that will make it or break it. I don't like this. Um, this is not for me and I don't think it's for Eurovision either. Misha. Again, the chorus kinda lost me. It's still fine. It's a new artist for me, I don't know them, but you know, it's not really going where I wanted it. Natalie is also a new artist for me, but I, I heard that she performed in Serbian shows and this song, yeah, I can see the crossover between Croatia and Serbia here. I think it's good. The question is, can she deliver it live? Noel, fine, not bad at all, not bad at all. Pavel, I like their music, but this is not for Eurovision. That's that's. Somebody told me, like, in the messages that it reminds them of Dancing Queen from ABBA in places, and I heard that when I read it. Sasha. Sad boy, ballad. I feel the emotion, but I don't really see it as a winner of this competition. Stephanie didn't really stand out in the mix. It's okay, but it's not competitive. The splitters. I like it. I like it. The chorus is very melodic, it's catchy, but I prefer their previous entry from 2022, I think. Oh, I love this. Uh, Vatra, I, I love them in general. I've been listening to their music for 10 years now and I was nervous, but they delivered. I think this crossover of kind of country or I don't even know how to call it uh, with rock, I, I'm all over that, so yes. Vinko. Beautiful vocal. The song itself, it just needs more than the vocal, I'm afraid. It's similar situation um, with Kejo, like the song is good, but he cannot carry the song himself. Um, oh my god, now after this recap, I see this is a competent Dora this year. I've heard some opposing opinions from mostly Croatian people. And on one hand, I can see why. On the other hand, like, I think if people are from the rest of the world are happy, then we should be happy as well. Um, we always have some massive expectations and we don't really know what else was in the mix. But I have to say, how, in which universe, was Baby Lasagna the first backup? And then we have some other songs here that don't really stand out, that don't have any chances of winning not only Dora, but Eurovision, of course, but not even Dora. So how was that the first backup? Like, why wasn't that chosen in first 24? I don't get that. And now I'm curious, what else was left behind? What other songs we lost? And we won't get the opportunity to hear them because somebody said that they are not good enough or that they don't meet some kind of criteria that kind of worries me because this has shown now this Zsa's quit that the backup has a potential to win so my critique to the panel of people who are selecting songs I mean this is a clear critique like how can a backup be a favorite and how can a backup be a potential winner I think we need to reorganize our selection process a little bit. That's just my opinion. But uh, I guess people who chose songs know why and what they picked and what they didn't pick. 
But yeah, enough of me rambling. Let's go over the recap once more. And I'm gonna say who has chances of success, in my opinion. Of course, everything depends on the uh, actual live performance, but I will try to give my best to give you some insights of how I see it on stage in a couple of seconds. Of course, I can't speak a lot, but hey. Okay, so Alan Judas was first. I think like he will have um, Tamburitsa on stage. Obviously, someone will be playing the instrument. I don't see this as something uh, extraordinary or unexpected. Maybe there will be dancer, maybe not. Baby Lasagna. I will talk about this song and this artist at the end. Like, I will uh, talk to him. <laughs> um, this has a great potential, but it's also a slippery terrain. So I hope he will be smart and careful, but also not take it too safe, because it shouldn't be safe. It's a fun favorite. Take a risk. Barbara. I expect something creative. I want her to be, you know, herself. And I want to see her in the final. Boris. He has some heavy competition with Eugen, with Kejo, with... There was someone else with a male ballad. So he will have to do something live to stand out. Damir. Focus on the vocal. Disregard staging and performance and choreography. Don't do choreography, please. Just sing this song perfectly and... Erna... I see this as a, a minimalistic performance, very classy and tasty. That's what I want to see. E.T. Let's go. Bangers. I want six dancers. I want them all over the place. I want slutty costumes and let's make this a party because that's what it should be. Eugen. Black staging with white uh, reflectors. Um, a prop on stage wouldn't be bad. Um, mm, yeah, this should be top, top 10 in the end. Higher top 5 hopefully, but... James Knight, okay. Hopefully he can deliver it live. Of course, we need choreography, we need dancers, we need this high energy. But also we need vocal. Okay? I think he can qualify. Olana. This can also qualify. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Some people really like this from my circle. So, who knows? I can't really determine. I'm not sure if this recap doesn't capture the song that well or... But I know that Lara has a great vocal, so I'm hoping for that. Letri, okay, it's gonna be crazy, we know that. I just don't know what they're gonna do. And it's impossible to predict. I'm not sure if he can sing in such a high register. If he can... We'll see. Lou. Beautiful song. I want close, intimate staging, blue staging I see for this, could be, do, could, could be well produced. Uh, Marcella. Yeah, she will, she will definitely bring energy on stage. I know her that much, so she's gonna prepare maybe even some choreography for this. Uh, definitely should be in the final. This one a non-qualifier for me. I, it's just not for me. I never heard of Misha, so I don't know what they can do live. I, I don't have a vision for this one. We'll see and we'll get surprised. Natalie, she promised a performance. She said that she's been working on her stage presence and performance, so um, I, I see dancers for this one as well and I think people will like it, so it will be in the final. You see Noel, now you have some competition here with Natalie, with Iti, with... Um, there was one more. 
I forgot, but there is more. I can't, this is too fast. Um, Pavel might qualify based on the name, but if we will go strictly judging the song, I'm not sure how many people will really say this is my top favorite, I'm gonna vote for it, you know? It's just type of song that is in the middle, and middle don't get points, unfortunately. Sasha, I'm sorry, but mm, this doesn't make the cut for me, but I'm, I don't know, maybe people will like it. Stephanie, same thing. It's just one of those things that, like those songs that have a direct competition that beats them, just in my opinion. Also, I don't know what she can do live. The Splitters, probably just the band performance as the previous time, could not qualify, unfortunately, even though I like it. But hey, let's see. Oh, I love this. I mean, they will qualify based on the name for sure. I'm wondering about the performance and how they're gonna present themselves, because they're also a band, so I don't want them just to be playing instruments and singing, I need a concept for them and some visual, you know, so Vatra, please work on the visual and work on the performance somehow, create a concept. Vinko. You see, for him, I see something very simple. I don't expect him uh, doing anything wild and out of the box. It's gonna be very simple, probably just him standing on the stage singing his song. Could be effective, but also... Um, hmm, I don't know, we will see. We will see, I definitely want to talk about Baby Lasagna in just a moment. Uh, like, I'm swarmed with messages. As I am re uh, recording this video now, messages keep popping up. up. Uh, about him people are buzzing and um, one thing that he said in the radio show in his introduction that he has never performed live that worries me a little bit but hey you have a month to <laughs> practice and um, whatever happens just know that if you come on that stage and do what you want to do it will be good but it's gonna be fine so don't worry about that uh, for a song like this, uh, I hope he comes up with a concept or something because it's not a song that can rely only on him standing and singing, definitely not. We need a visual concept on LED and we need possibly like stage concept. Um, somebody told me, like one of my friends texted me that it's a mashup of Rammstein and Kariya and I kind of see that, a very funky combination but it works and what really is important, two things. First, it's easy to recap, so it's easy to capture the essence of a song. And second, it's very catchy and memorable. Like people are texting me all the time and I remember that melody instantly and I was like, what is this? And then my second uh, thought was, oh wow, why do I like this? And third thought was, oh my god, this goes off so hard. So. I think that is what Finland had last year, so if we can bring that, wink wink, let's do it. But I have so many other songs that I want to see at Eurovision, this is a strong year, I'm happy. My honest opinion, Kejo is probably gonna take it. Um, if he can perform it live, and we know that he can, I think he's gonna sail through with the juries. And then uh, I still think that Televote is gonna support him because he is one of our most rumored artists and he got that chance in 2020 that he didn't get to use and then in 2022 his song really or 23 i don't really know when he competed i think in 23 yes last year that song really wasn't him and this song is him i think he's it's his to lose baby lasagna if he can perform it live he's definitely a contender from other artists Maybe Eugen can do something, and I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if others are in the mix for the win. Mm, let's three, we cannot discount them. And then Marcella, if she brings the energy and the stage concept, she is also one of the contenders. And then we have this other group of songs that I really, really love, but I just don't think they are strong enough to win. Vatra. Um, 
Natalie, Lou Dedic, E.T., I cannot forget E.T., like, there is many, and I will easily have top 10 this year, um, because past few years I didn't have a clear top 10, it was like, what do I put in my top 10, because I have to put something. This year I will have top 10, if they all qualify, but we know that won't happen, so uh, I guess I'm just gonna go with the flow, I am happy with this, um, I'm eager to see the national final, I'm eager to see the performances and live, so uh, let's see where this goes. Who are your favorites in the comment section? Drop your thoughts, I want to know who do you like and are you hyped about Dora, because I surely am. Thank you very much for watching, Albania, uh, you're coming up next, I will upload the video in the following days, I promise. Until then, bye.